enshrined all the time throughout history and they've all been assassinated. And they've all been assassinated. So that's really strange, isn't it? Um, so therefore, when we talk about oh, does evil really exist? I mean, for me, it's kind of pretty obvious that it does. And I just think it's got very, very, it's got so much better these days at concealing itself. It works within the shadows. Does that mean the shows. Shows. What, what is, is there good in the absence of evil? Um, I mean, you, you need, you need, you need, you need it's, it's a, it's a, it's a world of duality, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? So you're, you're bound to have um, light and dark, good and evil. But just, I believe in what Albert Einstein said, which is, the world will not end because of bad people. The world will end when good people fail to do nothing. And I believe in this time right now in history, it's one of the reasons I'm doing this podcast, more people need to stand up against what I believe is one of the most corrupt things that's gone on in human history since I've been alive. Well, people are still comfortable. So why is well, that? This is the thing with people. They're, they're, they're basically, they're, it's a false illusion of comfort though because I believe that they're gaining more control into people's lives. So the vaccine thing... Some people thing, don't care about that. So well, they're comfortable. And I think more people are comfortable with that than they like to believe. Because... Yes, bro. Because people want to talk about it and scream and shout about it. But who really is willing to put their liberty and life on the line for it. If you're that discomforted or you know it's that bad, why are people not standing up? Why are people not actually going out there protesting, being arrested because they are still comfortable? And it, and there's an the element of fear as well, herd mentality. I mean basically if you go back to our ancestry, if you went against the um the herd, the sheep Right, basically, you would end up being by yourself. You'd probably get captured by another tribe. You might get ate by a, a wild animal. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Or you'd end up like lonely and losing the fight. Do you know what I mean? Well, the thing is, even though there's herd mentality, when there's wolves in the field, mm. them sheep are still going to fight. So yeah, far, but, um, well, I'm... Yeah, but that's, but that's the thing. What's happened right now is you can't really see the enemy. It's not that obvious. I mean, back in the day, Hitler was the enemy. He's blatantly like killing Jews in his yeah, gas chamber. Yeah, yeah. It's obvious he's bombing. You see it now, it just seems it's got so much more. Well, there are things that you could do. You really think that it's that bad? I don't mean you as a person, I just mean in general, people like realistically, if it was that bad, like you know, you can talk about Martin Luther King, Rosa Parks, um, Gandhi, people who really felt like you know, were living under oppression, yeah, we can't do it. Then people were dying for their freedom. Yeah, 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 of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and it was a point, like, yeah, they were scared as well. They mm-hmm. must have been scared because it wasn't like, oh, you're going to get fined, you're going to get nicked. No, you, you might get killed, yeah. but they still did it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. the system that they were in was that bad. Yeah, yeah. They weren't even seeing the people. Yeah, yeah. Whereas, yeah. I just feel like now, when we've got people, like, talking about it, and don't get me wrong, I don't agree with what's going on. But I also like to be informed. I like to hear what people think about it. But when they're so passionate about that, I want to know what, what's the next step. So all I feel is like, if we're not careful right now, we're going to go into a trajectory that is not going to be beneficial for the liberty and freedom and overall happiness of humanity. Okay. If we allow that time. I don't think there's nothing wrong with technology. I think it's beautiful. I think it's fantastic because it leaves out so many problems. Um, and there's going to be so many magical things that are going to come from it. Mm-hmm. But I believe that what's going on right now, um, we need to be very awake as to what's going on because something could be put in our, in our way going forward that is going to be detrimental to our, 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 our liberties. Mm-hmm. I mean, if you look at, for example, um, in the Constitution in America, in the 14th Amendment, it talks about and um, people must be able to gather in peaceful protests, whether it be in churches and, and congregate together. With this virus, ooh, it's amazing how they are allowed to do that now, isn't it? Yes. Do you know what I mean? So where the people could, could come together and fight against um, oppression, right, which was always the way for our history, that health, the virus, has managed to stop that from happening, which is quite, quite and I think that's very intelligent if there was, so let's say, an, um, a bad force on the planet. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, definitely. So that's just uh, little things like that just pick up to me. You know, you know the virus. Okay? Yeah. The vaccine. Yeah. I'm assuming that you're not going to have it. No way. So, you know how much you love going to Brazil, 
This is around thing, the yeah, world. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's, 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 what talking, that's what I'm talking about, evil. That's what I'm talking about, pure evil. So a fit, strong, healthy young man, and there's like loads of us going around the country, yeah, and then loads of women and everything, right? Oh, we're going to be forced, bullied, right, into having this vaccine. This is one of the reasons I went in, because of, 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 of propaganda, do you know what I mean? Like, to literally, like, they're going to they're gonna force us to have, sorry, they're going to force us to have this vaccine, put some foreign body inside us, yeah, that we don't know anything about. There's no history of it. Do you know I mean, smoking, you know the effects of smoking, your granddad did it, or you know the effects of alcohol, or your, your, your great ancestors did it, do you know what I mean, it's been going for thousands of years. This, we ain't got a scooby do about, do you know what I mean? Yeah. And I'm just not willing to have that stuck inside me, yeah, when I've worked so hard. But, you know, you know we, we are creatures of convenience. Mm. This, right, it's like we talk about mobile phones. I love my mobile phone, but getting my privacy, with this and that, what they made it that convenient, that in them. Everyone's got a smartphone. Yeah. All the people who said they weren't going to have one, everyone's got one for convenience. So I'm saying to you now, Morgan, oh, Morgan, yo, it's a stack on my wedding. We're going to Brazil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're going to Brazil. Oh, mate, it's not ready. You know what I mean? I love battles. You're on the back seat, you know. Oh, nice. What are you doing? I'm just, I just that to you go, yo, straight up, bro, 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 man. <laughs> straight across the Adani, bro, man. I'm, I'm going in, mate. I'm going to battle, battle, battle some sharks in there, bro. <laughs> mate, it's just madness, yeah. isn't it? Like, because like, traveling is dear to my heart, and I think dear to so many people. And I think we're, we're probably one of the first generations that's been able to freely travel, really. We've just about got enough money these days, the average person. Yeah. And they can go and do some more traveling if they want, yeah. yeah. Whereas back in the day, and our granddad's please, and it was only for the super rich. So it's, like it's kind of fitting that now that's kind of come into play where people can go and experience different cultures and learn more about the world. Now they're locking down borders, now they're separating everyone again, dividing kind of. I mean, to be fair, travel is just one thing, but it's like for things like travel, is it? It's things like, oh, um, I need a, a hip hop version, or I've got to have a heart surgery, and they go, oh, yeah, you must go on to but no, I've got the vaccine. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, well, yeah. Uh, vaccine kind of operation. Yeah. Next thing you know, you get an insurance call, your insurance phone, you know, oh, you got the vaccine. Oh, but even if you did crash your car, you're going to the hospital, they wouldn't treat you, yeah. so you've got to have the vaccine. So uh, that things like that. Yeah, and it's also, we talk about this narrative, like, so we talked about obviously Twitter banning um, uh, Ron Garcia, but we talk about Jesus. If you look in the Bible, it talks in um, Revelations about the mark of the beast. Mm-hmm. In the end of days, everyone would have the, the, the mark of the beast, which would be. An inject uh, a DNA level injection or a chip inside you or something like that's what it kind of springs to me in today's current world. And it's sort of the religious implications of that for people that genuinely believe in Jesus and have a faith and a connection to higher power. You literally dedicate their lives to it. So that's not that's not freedom. Do you know what I mean that is dictatorship? Yeah. You are sticking this vaccine inside you, and I don't care. Your whole life will be messed up, destroyed if you don't have it. And it's against everything you believe in. That is oppression, bro. That's the same oppression. And so it's gone. It's gone past racism and that and religion. It's going actually humanity now on the, on the highest level. Yeah, Do you yeah. know what I mean? So, bro, that's what I get passionate about, it, man. Because I feel like it's a lot deeper and darker than what we think. But what do we want people to do about it? Is it stay woke, like people. Yeah, but there's a to a point where you can stay woke and you can know everything. But what are we doing? Is it? someone like leading us? Because yeah. at the end of the day, when there's change. You've got to have someone leading the charge. Yeah, really, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they said, oh, we wanted to talk to someone about the vaccine, or we're not going to give, well, I suppose we're just quite say we're not going to give up on the vaccine. But, I don't know, man, it's just got to be a driving force. I think just when people keep saying it, and saying it, and saying it, it's like, okay. Yeah, it's better than saying nothing. Because at the end of the day, if you don't say nothing, then you never what's going to happen. We've just basically just um, submitted to it. Do you know what I mean? We've come to so basically, I would see it like this. Um, enough people talk about it, enough to make people realise there's a genuine um, fear concern. about what's going on, concern going on. Then some people who have the, the funds and the means to do something about it will come together. Yeah. And, 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 and go against. I know if I was a billionaire, if I was a multi-millionaire, like 100 million quid, mm-hmm. I'd be getting some people together and going fully in with it, bro. Do you think that we are... Um, this is cool.